I've sort of bombarded you with a bit of a recurring theme about disability. Sorry, not sorry. But in all seriousness, it has enabled me to meet some amazing people and tell some incredible stories, especially through the things that we're doing within diverse media, the documentary development. And one such person that I met recently was an amazing chap called Aaron Morgan. Aaron, at the age of 17, had a motocross accident that left him paralysed. But he's gone on to compete at the highest levels of motorsport and now races for an organisation called Team Brit. Um, Aaron competes GT4 level, so he's racing a McLaren 570S supercar. And he just attained a place to compete at this year's prestigious uh, hill climb event at the Goodwood Festival of Speed. So we've been following Aaron over the last number of weeks as part of a, a taster that we're doing for a documentary at the moment. And uh, I went along to find out what makes him tick. So I'm down today with Aaron Morgan. He's racing driver with Team Brit, and we're at the home of motorsport itself at Silverstone. So tell me what's going on today. So we're here at Silverstone today. Uh, I'm not racing myself, but uh, my Team Brit teammates, uh, Paul Fullock and Tyrone Matherin, are competing in the Team Brit BMW 240i in the Brit Car Trophy Championship. Motorsport is big business, and it's not a cheap thing to run. You know, with all the cars, the parts, and the, the teams themselves, how do you make it happen? Yeah, so so within Team Brit, we're incredibly lucky to to be to have a, a very good sponsor base. Um, but without without them sponsors, there's there's absolutely no chance that we had to go racing. So it's with it, obviously ma- massively grateful to each and every one of them for allowing us to do what we do. What's it like in terms of the actual course that you'll be driving through this hill climb event? Um, for those of us who, who don't know much about Goodwood itself, what is the hill climb? What does it entail? And um, sort of what are your feelings going into it in comparison to the typical type of driving you do with the McLaren? Yeah, so G- Goodwood, you know, what, what an event! What an event to be to be showing. Um, you know, disability mo- disability motorsport is not an issue. Um, you know, it's it's world renowned. If there are, there are very few events you can say to. Um, motorsport enthusiasts and they're, they're you know immediately yeah i know that one uh but goodwood is definitely one of them you know they they all climb i believe it's uh, celebrating this 30th anniversary this year so it's you know the, the grounds are going to be absolutely packed full of fans spectators motorsport enthusiasts drivers um so yeah it's going to be a huge event and just one i'm massively excited to represent the team for amazing well listen thanks very much and best of luck we'll see you soon after chatting to Aaron we got ready for what would be an incredible insight into the fast-paced world of motorsport. Welcome to the Goodwood Festival of Speed. So Aaron, this is it. We've arrived at Goodwood. I mean, you must be really excited to finally get here after I mean, how many years has it been now that Team Brit have obviously been talking about this moment to get uh, to the hill climb events? This was obviously a massive moment. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm just super excited. What an, what an event. Uh, luckily today we've, we've been blessed with the sunshine. Um, so many people here, so many awesome cars. Uh, like you say, Team Brit have been applying to, to get an entry into the hill climb for a number of years now. I'm not sure exactly how many it is, but I know it's a long time. Um, so to finally be invited and finally be here at Goodwood, uh, what an honour, I'm so excited for the late, my runs later on today. Fantastic, and it's been a bit of a turbulent w- uh, weekend when it comes to the weather. Talk us through what's happened between, I mean, obviously today is Sunday, what's happened over the last couple of days? Yeah, like you say, weather, weather has been very turbulent. We had lovely sunny weather on Thursday. Um, I had, I had uh, just one run then. Then uh, we had heavy rain on Friday. So obviously the, the track was much slipperier for Friday then. Um, the organisers were con- concerned about some uh, heavy winds that were expected on Friday night into Saturday, so they actually cancelled the whole event um, for on Saturday, the first time in 30 years. 
Um, but luckily enough, the sun, we're here on Sunday and the sun's come out for us today, so we're going to have an awesome day. There's a lot of mental preparation needed, so a lot of it, um, typically in the race weekends, I spend a lot of time on the simulator, so obviously that gives me a feel for the track. It's not, it's not quite the same, but it gives me a feel for the track because um, modern simulators are very, um, very accurate these days. Um, but it, uh, other things in the lead up, it's just sort of clearing your mind from any other thoughts, so you can just focus purely on the race weekends. Um, after after I've been up once or twice, and obviously re, re running the runs back through my head, so you know I know key points on the runs to look out for, and key things where I know I can improve my times and go go faster through. When there is heavy rain, navigating the spray is extremely difficult. Uh, sometimes going down the spray, if it's really bad, it's almost like going down the straights blindfolded. Um, you almost just have to look, wait until you can see a brake light, because that obviously that means people are braking. So you need to obviously you need to slow down for the next corner at times. Uh, but the other key thing to look out for, especially here on the hill climb at Goodwood, is uh, where there are like, big streams of water running down the track because um, it's, it's them big areas of standing water that the wet tyres really struggle with, obviously cause aquaplaning, which obviously laws, uh, causes you to lose control of the car. So they're the particular areas that you really need to keep an eye out for and really make sure you're looking at. These are, these are the timber hand controls I've got in my hand. So with my right hand, this paddle here, that operates the accelerator pedal. Uh, this panel here on the left hand side does the brake pedal and then we've got buttons inside this one at the top of this one or the top of this one change up gears and the bottom of this one or the bottom of this one change down gears. So it allows me to have two hands on the steering wheel at all times and I'm in full control of the vehicle, brake, uh, sorry, accelerator, brake, up gear, down gear, uh, they're all just right here that I can easily reach at all times. Yeah, like, like you say, the, the range of cars here at Goodwood this weekend is unbelievable. You know, from sort of historic cars all the way through to modern stuff. Um, I've been lucky enough to go around to the main paddock and the Ferrari that won Le Mans a few, we few weeks ago. That's here and the winning trophy's here. Um, Travis Pastrana's here, he's racing the Subaru. There are a number of World Rally Championship drivers racing their World Rally Championship cars this weekend. Uh, there are a number of GT3 cars, a uh, number of uh, period uh, Formula 1 cars as well. It's such a, a massive um, range. It's so great to see all, all in one place, it really is. Amazing. Well, look, Aaron, very best of luck for today and hope you get some time to, to potter around a bit more um, in between. But uh, look forward to seeing you soon and say yeah, best of luck to you and the team. Cheers. As you can tell, Aaron is a really impressive guy and he did so well coming third fastest in class with a very respectable 58 seconds, which was phenomenal for especially his first time racing at Goodwood. And we can't wait to tell you more about his story as we uh, fill in with him over the next number of months for a documentary that we're planning on releasing next year. So stay tuned to our socials for more about that as it happens. But on to the next thing. We, um, we've done the flying now, we've done Goodwood and next up we're off to Ibiza. So Stay tuned, hit subscribe, and uh, stick with us for the next one because this is going to be a good one. See you in the next one. Thanks.